Prepare a trial balance from following ledger balances of assets and liabilities. Okay, so what this means is that if something is not an asset or a liability, we will exclude it. So let's pick them one by one. The first one is furniture. Uh, yeah, furniture. Now furniture is what? It's an asset or a liability. It's an asset, right? An asset has what? A debit balance, right? 30,000. So this will come on the debit side. Plant and machinery. Again, plant and machinery is what? An asset. An asset, as I told you, has a debit balance. So whenever you come across any asset, okay, the balance normally will be a debit balance. For liabilities, it will be a credit balance. So whenever you get any balance, just pick it up and put it in either the debit column or the credit column as the case may be. Bank overdraft. Now an overdraft taken from a bank is what? It's a liability. Why? Because when you take an overdraft from a bank, you have to pay it back to the bank. So it's a liability. A liability has what? A credit balance. Similarly, bank balance. Now bank balance, if you have money, it's an asset or a liability. It's an asset. So we will put it in the debit balance column. Cash balance. Cash is again what? An asset. An asset has a debit balance. Ramesh, the creditor. A creditor is what? A liability, right? The balance of a liability is a credit balance, right? So we write it in the credit column. Mohan, the debtor. The debtor is what? An asset. Why? Because we have to get money from him. It has a debit balance, so we write it in the debit column of the trial balance. Stock. Stock is again an asset, so we write it in the debit column. And then you have purchases. Now purchase is what? Purchase is an expense. Right? It's not an asset. And neither is a liability. When you purchase, what entry do you pass? You pass an entry, purchase account, debit to creditor. A creditor is a liability, just like Ramesh is a liability, right? So we've put it in the credit column, but purchase, it's not an asset unless and until it was a purchase of an asset. But if it was a purchase of an asset, then instead of purchase, you would have debited the asset account. Hence purchase will not have any treatment. Why? Because we are just looking at assets and liabilities. But if you were generally preparing a trial balance, in that case, purchase balance will be written on the debit side. So if I do the totals, 30 plus 40, 70 plus 40, 110, 130, 135, 155. Right? 120 plus 15 gives you 135. There is a difference in these two balances because normally in addition to all these accounts, there will be other accounts as well, right? So let's say if I were to take this purchases, sales, carriage, discount, and so many other of them, ultimately the total will balance out. In this case, the totals are not balancing. Why? Because we have just put in some selective accounts, right? So that is how basically you transfer the assets or a liability to the debit or the credit side of the trial balance.